Hello everybody, this is Sloan at Miss Sad 64. I just wanted to say I'm back. I know I've been away for a while. I haven't done a video oh, in months. But I've been very, very busy. And as you can see, my collection down here, um, I'm getting ready for a show. Matter of fact, it's next week, a Christmas show. So I haven't really, really had time to do any videos. Been been so, so busy. Uh, earlier this year, I um, was traveling a lot with my daughter. As y'all know, most of you guys know my daughter plays travel volleyball. And, well, it wasn't a good year for her. I'm not going to go into details, but it wasn't a good year for her. So um, I had to be there for her to help support her through some things she was going through. Anyway, y'all don't want to hear about that. I um another reason I wasn't on YouTube. Also, I was going through the same. I came across a um a negative comment posted by I don't even remember who, some negative person, and I um it kind of upset me, and it kind of deterred me from making any more videos. People just I don't know, they just have cold ice in their, ice hearted, ice hearts, just ice in their hearts. Uh, no compassion or empathy or sympathy from, you know, anybody. Just, they just live negatively. And I, I didn't want to be around any of that negative energy. Um, you know, life is too short. I have too much going on in my life and I am very, very blessed. I don't need any negativity. I've tried to stay away from that. So, uh... That, that was one reason also why I hadn't made any videos. But, can't let every one person, you know, stop you from making uh, progress and, and doing something you love. And, and I love crafting. I, I love making soaps. I love making cakes. I love doing anything with my hands. Anything creative. And uh, so, anyway, enough of that. I just, I'm just glad to be back. So, I'll be back to making my videos. And um, also, I've joined another little, uh, well, what you want to call it, hobby or creative interest as far as scrapbooking. So, um, I'll go into detail about that in another video. So, let me show you what I've been up to. As you can see, I've made so many different soaps. I'm going to try and run through these real fast because... I'll probably be, be here all night, and I don't want my time to go pack too long on on a on a video. So my first one is uh, my soap I made created was a uh, Hawaiian mango. Um, this is uh, very very fruity. Now, ladies, bear with me. Y'all know how I am. I am not good with scents, and I'm not very descriptive at describing these things. I can only give y'all so many um, adjectives. And this one, I can say, my nieces and my nephews, they love this. They say it smells like Hawaiian punch. Duh. I don't, I don't know. Go figure. But it, it is very fruity. Very, very fruity. It smells good. The next one is Fruit Blossom. This is another good fruity one. But this is a soft fruit. It has a lot of apples and grapes and stuff. You know, very, very soft. And the next one is, this is a citrus. I love, oh. This is so uh, fresh. It Oh, this wakes you up in the morning. Very. This is a good eye opener. A good eye opener. If you've had a rough night and you need to wake up quick in the morning, this will wake you up. It's not too strong. It's very, very soft and light, but, it, but the citrus just wakes you up. Very, very pleasant. And this one is cilantro lime. You can really, really smell the lime and the cilantro blend in here. This this is just this just says Latin, Mexico, uh Cancun, Cozumel, what anywhere <laughs> below the border. This this is lovely. I will basically I have a bar of this and I've been using this in um in my kitchen. This is good when you're working with seafood because this gets you know how lemon gets the uh the scent of seafood off your hands. Well this is a good bar. This is the perfect bar for that. And you know, down here in the South New Orleans, we, we live and breathe seafood. This is a good one to have in the kitchen. So my next one is my oatmeal milk and honey. This is a goodie too. 
This is very, very soft. I like this one. Very, very delicate. And, ooh, the next one is Coral Seashell. This is my most popular. This is my best seller. I can't keep this. Every time I make a batch, it's gone. It, I mean, it sells out fast. My girlfriend, she buys it, um, you know, four and five bars. So I can't keep this for in stock fast enough. This is very, very good. It's, it's more like, a, um, it's not really fruity. It's not floral. It's, it's just soft and subtle, but it, it, it's fresh. It's very, very fresh and clean. That's the best way I could describe it, fresh and clean. So the next one is, oh, this one, this smells so good and yummy. I could just eat this. This is coconut almond macaroon. God, this, this smells so good. I didn't want to get out of the shower when I tried this thing. I, I smelled so good. I could have ate myself. I could have just took a bite out of my hand. It smells so good. This is really, really, this is one of, one of my favorites now. This is really one of my favorites. And the next one is the lemon lavender. This is another good one for the kitchen. When you're working in the kitchen and dealing with meats and chickens and seafood, this is the lemon lavender. This one is a good one. It, this is really fresh, very fresh, and it's perfect for when you're working in the kitchen, cooking with food, you know, dealing with your hands. The next one is, oh, this is a good sweetie here, raspberry uh, magnolia. This is a very, very uh, sweet one. It, it's not sweet, sweet. The, the scents are very, very subtle in here, but you can really smell, you know, like fresh raspberries, just, just fresh, oh, I like I say, it, it's fresh. I don't know how, any other way to describe it. It's very, very fresh. And this is a Castile one, unscented, 100% olive oil, 100% organic olive oil. Very, very good. Um, my husband and my, um, my girlfriend, they love this. They really, really love this. This one is very, very moisturizing on your skin. Very, very moisturizing. Well, all of them are, but this one is with the 100% olive oil. It's, it's very, very creamy and moisturizing. The next one is pomegranate. This is another one. This is good for Christmas. The holidays, pomegranate. It's the only time you see pomegranate is around the holidays. This one is my daughter's favorite. I have to watch her with this one because she's been stealing my stash. And she knows I'm getting ready. She knows I'm getting ready for a show. And she's stealing my stash. So I have to keep these under lock and key with her. This one is my girlfriend's favorite. She loves this one. Vanilla lavender. She really likes this one. I mean, it is what it's just what it says. Vanilla lavender. Very, very fresh and lovely. Very soft. Very, very soft. This one is black cherry. My aunt loves this. This is my aunt's favorite. I made a whole um, log for her. She loves this. And uh, it, it, I'm going to tell you what it reminds me of, and what she said it reminds uh, her of. Um, you know the um, Jergens lotion, the cherry almond? This is it. I, almost identical. It's very, very good. And I love Jergens lotion. This one is Granny's Green Apple. This is my girlfriend's favorite too. Well, of course, she loves all my soaps, but she loves this one too. This is a good eye opener in the morning also. This is a good one when you, when you just want to drag out of bed and you don't want to go to work. This one will wake you up and get you going in the morning. This is a very good one. And I went ahead and I did a gentleman's soap. This is, I just named it Gentleman's. It's a a fresh scented, uh, not too strong of a cologne soap, but it's, it's, it's subtle. I don't like strong soap, cologne soaps for men, but this one is very, very subtle, almost like an Irish spring soap. It's very, um, fresh and it's, it's very fragrant for a man. It smells good though. It really, really smells good. Um, my brother loves this and my husband loves this also, so... And that's it. I thought I had more. I think I had more, ladies. I really think I forgot some. But anyway, that's just the beginning. And I'll be back with some more, uh, you know, once I finish with my show. 
and oh I didn't have time to prepare my um my bad my my silk body butter and my uh a handmade aroma sachets you know the, the uh aroma beads I have those also uh, that I'm gonna be selling at the show so until then ladies just wanted to say uh glad to be back and you'll be seeing me around so be blessed bye